This is Kelso Sturgeon. Thank you very much for attending a Saturday's session of my College of Advanced Sports Handicapping. I'm going to run down several things today, but let's kick it all off with a little good news. Uh, on Thursday night, I kicked off the weekend with a nice 100-unit win with underdog San Diego State in its 41-27 to outright win over the Air Force. And just for a point of information, this was a game that, according to my figures, had the wrong side favored. My figures said that uh, San Diego State should have been a six or seven point favorite in the game, yet uh, the number was uh, San Diego State plus seven. You know, sometimes when you dig deeply into these uh, into these numbers and into these teams' past performances, you know, an underdog winner just jumps right off the page. And that was the case with San Diego State. Again, just pleased to say that we kicked off the uh, the weekend with a nice 100-unit winner, an underdog that got the job done straight up. And that leads me to uh, today and my 200-unit guaranteed college blowout. I have found a team that uh, is rightfully the favorite, but a very modest favorite when it should be when it should be favored by. Uh, 28, maybe even 35 points. Uh, when I say it's a modest favorite, it's a modest favorite. I don't understand the number. Uh, I even uh, when it came out on uh, uh, last Sunday afternoon, when I started looking at the numbers uh, and I saw the opening line, I had to call a couple of line makers to find out if the number was real. Was this really the number? Of course, I didn't tip my hand at what I why I wanted to know or whatever. They said, yes, that's the number. And I said, okay, thank you. So today, a 200-unit college blowout game. It's guaranteed to win. If I don't win this game, you will get all of my syndicate club uh, plays for the next month. That's a 50 or 100-unit play every Saturday and every Sunday. You'll get a month of these games absolutely free. Now, you can get this game right now on this website or toll free at 1-800-755-2255 and I do take all major credit cards. Also today releasing my 50 unit uh, college game of the week uh, looking for an, another easy winner and in this same package you get three uh, marquee TV games uh, Arizona State at Oregon, uh, Michigan at Michigan State and Florida at Auburn all in the same package and keep in mind for uh, tomorrow uh, Sunday, I'm 4-1-1 one, one with my last 50-unit uh, uh, NFL plays, and I am releasing another 50-unit uh, game of the week on Monday. Once again, all these games available on this website are toll-free at 1-800-755-2255. I do accept all major credit cards. Now, yesterday, I, know I made mention of the fact that uh, the wise guys... Uh, had come in on several games, but in each of the games they they bet their money uh, uh, on a total. And there's some curiosity as to what these games were, so let me just run quickly run them down for you. They came in on the SMU game uh, at over 44 and a half. They came in on the Washington game at under 59 and a half. They came in on the Oregon State game uh, over 49 and a half. They came in on the Colorado State game over 54 and a half. They came in on the Ohio game over 57 and a half, and on the Duke game over 54 and a half. Now, uh, there's no question they got down at the best number, and it's your call uh, as to uh, uh, whether you uh, uh, follow these guys or not. But but they ca they came in on on the over on most of these games, the under on just one, and it's one of the it's one of these things that. Wise guys feel that they know more about uh, uh, finding soft totals uh, than uh, than regular games, so they bet big on the totals and uh, and they win. That's all I can tell you. Last week uh, they went uh, 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 12 and 4 with the, uh, the 16 college games that they came in on, and uh, I beg your pardon, they went 8 and 4 on the 12 college games they came in on, and five of them actually ended up being blowouts. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the games today, a few angles that you might be able to use. There's 50 games on the board, uh, and 24 of them are homecoming games. Now there's a lot of people say, well, you know, homecoming, that must mean the home team is really going to try hard and, and get the, uh, 
uh, and get the uh, job done. Uh, don't believe that. I don't care what kind of a home team you are. If you don't have the talent, you're going to get beat. It's as simple as that. California proved that last night as it celebrated its homecoming against Southern California and got blown away. You've got to have the talent to win a game. Just because you put a, a homecoming slug on it doesn't mean anything. Now let's look at a few games today. You know, uh, first of all, Wisconsin is the biggest favorite on the board. Wisconsin is a 40-point favorite over Indiana at home, and by the way, it is homecoming in, uh, in Madison. Now, you think that's a tough cover, especially with Michigan State coming up next week? You know, a guy might say, yeah, 40 points, that's a big number. Well, uh, here's what happened last year. Wisconsin beat Indiana, the same team on this same field, as a 22 and a half point favorite, they beat them 83 to 20, and they had Michigan coming up the next week. You know, do the math. That might be a big score, even laying the 40. Uh, I'm not telling you that I'm doing it. I'm just saying, you know, that's something to look at. Now we've got Michigan and Michigan State. Very interesting game. Michigan State has won the last three meetings between these two schools. It's a two point favorite, and it's interesting that all the smart money is on Michigan on the underdog. Uh, the wise guys uh, just jumped all over this and uh, uh, whether they're right or wrong remains to be seen. This has got to be a defense versus offense battle. Michigan State leads the, the country in total defense giving up just 173 yards a game. To me an amazing uh, figure. Michigan's an offensive power uh, that has uh, has put up more than 500 yards of total offense in its last game so this is going to be uh, uh, who bends first, the offense uh, or the defense? Once again, uh, this is uh, a game being released in my Game of the, of the Week package. Uh, it's your call right here. Northwestern and Iowa, another Big Ten game that's fascinating to me. Uh, I think Northwestern is a live underdog at plus six and a half. I beg your pardon, plus six. It was six and a half. Uh, Northwestern goes for its fourth straight uh, uh, a win over Iowa. It's 5-1 and one in its last six games against Iowa. And interestingly enough, it is 3-0 and oh in its last three games in Iowa City in, uh, in Kinnick Stadium. Uh, obviously, Northwestern has some kind of a jinx uh, on Iowa. Florida State at Duke. Florida State might be the, uh, the biggest bounce-back game of the week. Uh, Florida State is in triple bounce-back form. They've lost three straight games to Oklahoma, Clemson, and Wake Forest. Uh, and absolutely have to be hungry for the win when they play at Duke. If you're a bounce player, you might want to take LSU, I beg you on FSU, and lay the, uh, uh, the 13 and a half. And yes, quarterback uh, E.J. Manuel, the starter, will start today uh, for Florida State. Now we have Arizona State and Oregon, and we know that uh, Oregon is going to be without its superstar running back, uh, LaMichael uh, uh, James. And you know, it sounds foolish to say they won't miss him, but I'm not so sure they will. And this is a guy, James, who leads the nation in rushing 170 yards a game, leads the nation in all-purpose yards 229 yards a game, and it's my contention that he won't be missed. That might sound insane to you, but let me explain something. The two guys who will replace him, uh, uh, Kenyon Barner and true freshman uh, uh, DeAnthony Thomas, combined uh, make up for his absence. These are... are our young players, they're blue chip players, they're future superstars, they're all game breakers, and uh, I just don't think that they'll miss Michaels uh, 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 today. That's just my opinion. If I, if I play the game, and I'm not saying that I will, I'd have to lay the 14 and a half with the Ducks, who won 19 straight uh, in Austin Stadium. Now, some other things to keep in mind. Central Florida, a three and a half point underdog at SMU, has given up just three touchdowns the entire season. Put that in the back of your mind when you handicap that game. Stanford, a 21-point favorite uh, at Washington State, goes for its 14th consecutive win. Uh, Texas Tech will be without starting running back uh, Eric Stevens against Kansas State today. It would be a big factor in that game. There's no getting around it. Idaho at New Mexico State has not scored an offensive touchdown in its last two games. An amazing fact. And last but not least, Mississippi has suspended four players, including starting running back uh, uh, Brandon Bolden and starting center A.J. Hawkins for his game today against Alabama. The question comes to uh, the surface right here, will it really matter? Now, uh, let me close this out by a few reminders. First of all, my guaranteed 200-unit 
uh, college blowout game today, absolutely guaranteed to win. My 50-unit uh, college game of the week, plus those uh, nationally televised uh, uh, marquee games. My best bets club goes for a 3-0 day, with that package highlighted by a 10-unit play on the nationally televised Oklahoma State-Texas game. You can get all these games on this website and toll-free at 1-800-755-2255. All major credit cards accepted. I appreciate very much you uh, tuning in today. I'll be right back here on Sunday morning with a rundown on the NFL. Thanks again, and have a good one.